You're watching H&L, I'm Ursula, and we're speaking to Corbus Fisser, the man who walks on fire. So when I met you, you called me out on my words. I was saying I was starting my business, Confident Voices, and it's, it's difficult, and I'm struggling with it, and you just said, you're manifesting this with what you're saying. And then you started speaking about fire, and I was like, what is this, what? So you walk your talk and you talk about and you do this fire walking thing. So what is all of that about, Kervis? Well, it started in 2012. I yeah. walked on fire for the first time. And as a hemophilia, that's a big challenge because I could hardly walk. So I had, help, I had someone help, help me walk over the fire. And that night I couldn't sleep. You know, how can you walk over 500 to 600 degrees Celsius of fire without getting burned? Mm. And it, I just needed to know this. And one thing that I realized is why the Gandhi quote is so powerful for me. You know, everything starts with your beliefs, your thoughts, and your words. Words, there's life and death is in the power of the tongue. And those who love to use it will bear the fruit of it. You know, we speak it over us. So the fire, when you say, I don't want to get burned, what are you going to focus on? You're focusing on the word burn because yeah. the brain, the universe don't process negative. So they hear the verb. They hear the verb. And so your body is so amazing. Think about it. You're an actress, right? When people watch you cry, they cry as well. When they look at you laugh, they laugh as, as well, even though they're not in that moment. Mm -hmm. But the brain doesn't see it as a difference. It mm -hmm. as experiences as if it's happening to them. And that's how powerful words and emotions are, because words are com connected with emotions. Mm -hmm. You know, we say, what is emotion? Emotion is energy and motion. So then that's what words create. And it follows that process. So whatever we say, we speak over it. So one thing when we do the fire walk, we say it's an ice cold fire. And so when we walk on it, what are we hearing? Ice, ice cold. cold. What are we thinking? Ice cold. And what are we experiencing? Ice cold. So we have this saying, whatever you see, whatever you hear makes you feel. And the moment you feel it becomes your reality. Oh, that, I just had a moment. <laughs> that was an aha moment. Whatever you feel becomes your reality so even if it's not your reality yet you can create it through the feeling yeah because we the words we say it's sometimes it's not just words we have emotions connected to those words mm. that have been anchored in our brain and that is, then becomes our reality mm. so at your talk that i saw you you didn't bring fire yes thank goodness <laughs> you brought shards of glass broken glass yes. broken glass and when people walk on it because people people walk on the glass and you can hear you can hear the broken glass and um, nobody in the group got any shots of glass in their feet there was nothing I didn't walk on the glass what was your excuse I feel it's a very valid excuse <laughs> but I hadn't had a pedicure okay. I didn't want to take my shoes off because Okay, so can I jump in on about the glass walk? Jump. So you, do you believe glass cuts? I do. Okay, so here's the thing is, what if you can walk over glass and the same as fire without getting burned, without getting cut? Mm. Okay, and I've just challenged that belief and I showed you that it's false. Mm. What other beliefs do you hold in so much that you never question them because you think they are real? Because it's beliefs that have been created in our whole life. Mm. But also understanding by having these beliefs, we can always justify why that belief is so important. We can have excuses why we can't do it because it's validated through mm. our excuses and our beliefs. Yeah. So the thing is, that's what we do. We create that. Now, my question to you is, we all have goals, right? We all yes. have dreams. Are you willing to go for that, for that goal so badly that you are willing to do whatever it takes to be able to achieve it? And if you say, no, I'm not even willing to walk over glass or fire because it's only a metaphor. Mm. You know, I use those metaphors either to conquer your fear or to go for goals or to conquer your little mind, that little voice in your mind that stops mm. you from reaching your full potential. Mm. You know, if, if it's that important, then you will be willing to do whatever it takes. And most people aren't because they are finding a justification or an excuse not to do it. And, and that is a very powerful slogan that you... You say, so I, I, I listened to your talk and it was very powerful for me because you have various elements. You have a bit of entertainment. You have a very powerful story. But the key thing that you gave me something to walk away with, not the glass, you gave me the words, whatever it takes. You, 
you have these bangles that say whatever it takes. The next morning, what did Koba speak about? He said whatever it takes. No more excuses. What are the type of excuses that you see with your clients, with people you interact with? What are the type of excuses that are holding people back? That's just a common one. I think as people are in their comfort zone. Either I'm not ready yet, either um, not today, I will do it tomorrow, um, my energy is bad, or I have too much issues still to sort out, or um, I still have to catch up an admin, or um, I don't have a baby care. Um, <laughs> you know, there's, there's so m multiple. No, I haven't spoken to my wife yet, whatever. People will always find something to find a reason of not doing what they need to do. Mm. Think about it. In the morning, you, um, you love to gym in the morning, am I right? I love it. But the thing is, think about it. Most mornings you also get an excuse. Oh, it's mm. cold. Oh, it's so nice and warm in the bed. We all has, have an excuse. Now, what I love about the glass and fire is when you don't want to do it, the little voices comes up in your head. You need to now become consciously aware what voices are, do you have in your head? Which one are you feeding the, the most? And it's to decide I'm not going to listen to those voice anymore and I'm going to start feeding the one that believes in me, that gives me confidence, that gives me um, courage to be able to go up and go and do it. And the more we feed that, the stronger it becomes to a point where it's become a habit in our life that we automatically do it mm. without thinking it twi uh, twice about it. Now, I don't force people to walk over the fire or the glass. You know, in the past, I had a whip that helped people to go over and that's just a joke. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because the thing is, you can learn as much. It's like what you experience. You can learn as much by seeing other people do it because there's a message in all of that that mm. can land for you and that can grow. And, you walking away that day with that learning is more powerful than just also just experiencing walking over broken glass. Absolutely. But now next time I will walk over broken glass because I will get a pedicure next time I see you. Kubis, <laughs> we didn't even get to the rapid fire questions because we were talking about the fire. But quickly tell our viewers where they can find you, how they can connect with you and what's next. Where can they come walk on fire with you? Um, next fire walk is on the 1st of November. Okay. Um, I'm 39. It's my last day of being 39. And I'm turning 40 that, uh, in the next day. So I want to go out with a bang. Um, <laughs> I, so far, I have speakers like Mike and Lundy is going to be there. Um, Robin okay. Banks is going to be there. That night, I have a DJ playing for yeah. us as well. And then I'm talking to a few bands to see which band can be there that night because I play the bass guitar as well. Okay. So I'm going to be on stage joining and jamming two songs at least. You know, so I'm going to make it an um, empowerment day, but also a fun day and yeah. then walking on fire. And so where people can get me, it's uh, easy, www.quibbersofc.com. Yeah. So that is easy. I'm on all LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, all of those places. So people can just reach out and connect with me. So it's quibbersofc.com. Quibbersofc.com. Quibbers, thank you for being here, sharing your authenticity. Uh, Kubis with a C, go connect with him and thank you for joining us today. I hope that this is inspiring you to lead the day with no excuses. See you next week.